A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So I actually want to see if we can't go and loot a ton of books. Um, as you guys know, we still have a few classes to unlock over here. Uh, we still have the farmer class. We have the laborer class. We have... Oh, there's just those two. Farmer and laborer, it seems. All the others are unlocked over here. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get the mastery for mechanic class. Uh, you guys reminded me that there is an oil pump over here. Sometimes you can click on this and you can actually hover over there. But you can see oil pump. Uh, basically, it's a green thing that you can place down. And with that, you can actually make fuel. So you chop down trees, put the wood in there, you get oil shell back, and you can make some uh, gas out of that. I think in this series where if you die, you lose everything... That's going to be safer than going over here and digging for oil. You don't want to be underground when a massive wandering horde comes through. Because at the moment, even though we do have quail stuff, we will die because we're stuck underground. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to see if we can't get the mastery class. Now to do that, we need 600 notes. 120 for the class and 480 for the mastery book. Uh, we'll, we'll put together. And then we still have to get another 240 for the other two classes. So, yeah, we're going to go to the the Eve's town of here. I'm actually thinking of just driving down right here and seeing if I can't find more bookstores. I know there is that one at Jen's place, the one that we started looting with the vehicles through the wall. And, yeah, that might actually be worth it. We're going to be using this shotgun because, I mean, it's a quill shotgun and we're just going to run through it. I should be strong enough with b both this and this to be able to clear the place out, no problem. It's just a shame we don't have any more mods. I need more shotgun mods, and I need uh, more of these mods over here. Now, we can make our own mods. The only problem is most of the mods require these blue notes. Without those blue notes, we can't do anything at the moment. Okay, it is 12. I want to see if a wandering horde comes through. If at 10 past 12 there's no horde, I'm just going to go straight towards other town. And then, yeah, which... Oh, wandering horde. Hello. I'm going to turn that light off. Let's just go and do this. Let me make sure I take the cop out first. There's a few demon cops and stuff, and they're going past. See, the demon cops are going to be especially a problem if you don't take them out. Okay, now we do this, we do this, so we can switch between the two. You have to be careful of the penetration damage. We don't want to accidentally hit something in the background. So if I hit this now, for example, that cop's going to also aggro. Um. Okay, I can just take care of these. Nice. Nice. The sniper rifle is powerful. The fact that we can take their heads off. Nice. Come on, show me your head. Crap. Okay, we have to stand over here so they actually pass to us. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? My senses have picked no. up something. Why are you guys doing that? There's, there's a path over here. Yes, nice. They're going for the actual path. But these at the back. Now there's two people, uh, two zombies inside. You guys have to go around. They're going to make a hole over there and there's nothing I can do about it. I have to go down, but now there's titans down there as well inside. Damn it, this is really, really bad. Nope. Oh, and I'm on fire. And I'm on fire. Let 
If we go back this side, because they're all climbing the razor's place now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, we haven't died in a while, and it seems like we're gonna die soon. I absolutely hate getting phone calls mid-recording. Okay, they're gonna make a massive hole at the back of there. That's bad. Okay, now I just have to take care of these cops over here. They're my biggest threat at the moment. The cops are anything I can vomit. I to deal with those over there. They're making holes, man. It's not good. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, this has been so far the worst horde that I've faced. Because not only are they breaking in from the back, but damn the vomit. Okay, any more vomiters? I need to go down for the dem uh, for the behemoths in the back. I don't see any more. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I should be careful of the of those dudes over there, the titans. Oh crap! No, no, no! That's clever. Okay, where's the behemoth? Oh, he's, she's stuck over there. Okay, we have to go back over here. Ah, oh, damn it. This is really, 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 really bad. I have to block that off. Stand over here. See, the ones inside are wreaking havoc now while I deal with the ones outside. Oh, come on. Oh crap, there's another vomiter somewhere. No, 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 no. Oh no, my farm's gonna get destroyed as well. Okay, I have to drive away. My have I to have to drive something. away, drive away. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. See, that's why we need to make the whole base cobble. Okay, so what a time waster that was just now. Damn it. No, don't crouch, don't crouch, don't you bloody day crouch right now. That's gonna that car's gonna explode. There's no way that's not exploding. So we might be powerful, but these are behemoths and stuff, they do damage. I need to go save my base. Damage on, aim right. Okay, we have to hit her with this. Oh wow, he... I thought he was dead. I thought his head disappeared. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. No, 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 no. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Holy crap, I'm out of ammo. That's never a good thing.
Okay, so let's get a little bit closer and see what, uh, what's going on over there. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, this has been the worst horde I've faced so far. Especially the amount of behemoths that just jumped over the wall when I wasn't looking. That was a little bit bad for us. Did I get any 7.62 ammo back? Nope. I want to see what the damage is in the inside because they did so... The, the behemoth and stuff they made it inside is just insane. See, the moment... I, as soon as I can, I need to make all of this concrete. This is way, 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 way too weak. Hey, look at that. For some reason, they just, uh, just decided, you know what? Let's just go from the outside. We're going to crawl our way through in and jump away over the walls. Okay, um, at least you are kind of safe, but I think you might have died, actually. See, for some reason, when you're on the roof over here, they don't reg uh, register that they're supposed to pass over there. So I need to remove his roof and put my own roof in. Everyone has been saying, oh, you've been doing so well. You're not dying. Guys, please stop jinxing me. <laughs> okay, uh, I need some nine more ammo. That was way too bad. That was way too close. Okay, um, I'm just going to put all of this stuff away. And then we need to go for those bookstores. Actually, let's see what we got over here. The fact that the demons, when they vomit, do so much block damage is also just insane. I mean, look at that one hazmat dude when he exploded over here. It took this whole corner out. So for the next Wandering Horde, we have to have that fixed. Otherwise, we have a massive problem. This over here as well, I need to put a hatch in. Because if I can put a proper hatch in, we can shoot them from the sides and we don't have to worry too much. Um, okay, yeah, the rest of the stuff I'm just going to put away. We have quail, uh, we, we have pump shotguns and stuff now, but the quail are, uh, weapons are way better. I need to also probably see what we have doubles of and try and sell those. At the moment, we have so much, so many doubles over here, we can actually really get a ton of cash from. That goes over there, that goes over there. Nope, not that, that. The hell, not that, that, thank you. We're going to go all parts over here. And then this over here. We need to make more mods, like I said. Uh, I want to be able to put more melee mods in, but most of all, also gun mods. Ooh, what was, the, what was there? I don't know what was there in the first place. I think we used up so much ammo right now, I have to really make sure I don't accidentally drop something that's important. So because we took so many hits, we have to take vitamins again and some beer. That's going to max out our wellness again. And then before we leave, we should probably drink something. Uh, Food is kind of okay. And this only gives you 10, so I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as we're running, we just have to keep drinking these. Okay, but yeah, all I have to do is go, like I said, uh, get some books. I really, really, really need some books. If I can get some fuel, I can make more Molotovs, more explosives, all that kind of stuff as well. Instead of having to go... Imagine having faced this in the desert underground. Oh. I was actually trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. Um, do I go to Jen? Do I keep going on? Because remember, I said I need all these notes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need to put that on. Um, and then I remembered, okay, yeah, we still have to go to Rekt's place and really just hand in the scout quest. It seems you have to go to that scout, even though all the scouts share their progress and stuff. And then if I can get a bookstore on the way there, I definitely need to stop. The best place for me to probably clear right now would be a bookstore. If I can find some random books for stores like this over here, for example, I'll probably go for it. All the books we can find, we have to try and loot. If I can get a cracker book like the tower, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, a cracker book tower right now, it's going to be so incredibly dangerous. I've got a bad feeling about this. Dude, this thing's OP. So I still have to actually make contact with their faces. As you can see, the tough ones are way tougher than their friends. Okay, yeah. Need to stop for all these bookstores. And also, if I can, probably go for these as well. You never know. Sometimes you only get paper, but sometimes you actually also get those sweet, sweet schematics. Come on, come on. Let's go. But if I could get a cracker book tower right now, if we can just get to the third floor. Oh, there's a prison over here. No, but we already have a base. We already have a base. Sean, don't... Especially with how much damage they can do. <laughs> There's no point in moving right now because you're just going to lose everything again. Oh, yes. Wait, have we looted this one? No, we haven't. Bookstore. Yes, yes, yes. Now we have to just make sure. We Where's the zombie? 
I want to make sure we clear out any zombies in the area that might interfere with us. And we have to be careful of the Wandering Ward. I think it was at 12. Six hours later, it would be at 6. So we have to be careful right now that another one doesn't come. If it does, I just want to actually mark this on the map. If I can mark this as bookstore and just come back for this. So it's this one. We can call it books. Boom. What's a crossroad? Prison. I'm actually tempted to use it as a base. If you connect that pillar and that pillar and make a walkway out here, that would work. Only problem is, obviously, I, I don't want to move again. I have to be just moved into Razor's place. Although, at, at a point when we have the resources, we'll be able to do so easily. And okay, now... I don't want to make any power attacks or anything that's going to call attention to myself. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Hello, zombie. Hello, zombie. Get those face shots in. Make sure I'm still crouched. Make sure I move back. Okay, the problem right now is obviously the zombies outside. Come on. Oh, come on. I can't afford to get it too much. It's like the game knows I've been doing too well, so let me just hit you some more. Okay, I need to heal in the corner over here. See, unfortunately, every time you get hit, there's a really big chance of you actually losing durability. Um, I should probably also scrap the notes that we don't want to use at the moment. We don't need all of them. There's definitely going to be a zombie or two behind the pillar. What's that over there? Okay, so yeah, if we can make sure... Th this is silence, so technically no one else is supposed to wake up. But the moment we shoot with this... It's like the whole building says, hello. Be careful of my HP. Crap. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I keep forgetting that because this is insane difficulty, they smack like trucks. If you're not paying attention, you can so easily die. Oh crap. Oh crap, 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 crap. Come on, over here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Ooh, I almost blew myself up. Not good. I need to heal, but I didn't bring... That's what I actually left behind. I think four, uh, first aid kits. Where's that dude? Vomiter, bye-bye. Come on. I was hoping that noise over there is from the place itself, not another wandering horde. Let's just do this in case I need to run away. I need to heal, man. I need to heal. Two skill points to spend. What is that noise? I need to heal like crazy. Okay, what I'm going to do though, I think I'll just do this. That is shotgun nose, we need a shotgun, blades we don't need, and automatic weapons do we do need. Every time I shoot a head moves. Like what the hell? Okay, that's a demon. Master, we are not alone. I just woke everything up, unfortunately. I keep forgetting that I have this gun. I hear a noise outside. And oh, that was just a random zombie. Okay, cool. It's so bloody dangerous right now because the uh, the smallest of taps can actually kill me. If I could just get a first aid bandage, that'd be awesome.
Is that a zombie outside? Yep. See, I can do power attacks all day long with this. Only problem is it's so bloody slow. Most of the ferals also don't get stunned by this thing, which is a big problem for us. Just on most of the notes. Even if I can cheese this place, just run in, run out, get all the stuff I need, that's it. That's awesome. And like I said, from now on I have to make sure that we only go for the ones that we really need. So, technically machine gunner, these are all um, weapon usage, so the more you use the weapon, the more that goes up. So we can just scrap it. Rifle notes. Yeah, same. Okay, so this is a definite win. Orange tea schematic. With that, we'll be able to go and make ourselves some actual orange tea, which is going to give us way more wellness. I'm definitely going to go for blunt weapons. This will be, let's just put the better armor on. I'm terrified right now. I hear more noise, but I think we should be, we should be fine for now. Let's do that. See, we can just put more mods on this thing. Unfortunately, this is supposed to be really, really powerful, but because it's uh, not really modded out much, it's a legendary weapon. The moment we die, we lose it. There's bound to be zombies in the bathroom as well, but I don't want to kill them. Okay, also, we should probably be using the crossbow a little bit more. Where did I put you? Did I drop the crossbow? No! Seems I dropped the crossbow. Basically, the crossbow can actually shoot with uh, silenced. And if you put the autoloader mod on there, you can actually shoot and shoot and shoot. You can five, shoot five shots before having to reload. Okay, come on, get all the books. Okay, hello, demon. Stop your regen. Smacky, smacky, smack. The nice thing is, as long as we can smack them with this thing, it uh, disables their regen ability. Okay, we've emptied all the bookcases over here. If you're wondering what comes through, at least we can just jump through the window. But everything over here, as long as it doesn't, uh, 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 as long as it isn't a perk book, basically, it's like this, uh, that's scavenging. Athletic, yeah, why not? If it's a specific weapon, we'll read it. If it's anything else, we'll just scrap it. And then this, they just read that. Finding that treasure is going to be way easier now as well, thanks to this. Oh, but it seems it's going to be in the wasteland. I think the river goes over here, so that's definitely wasteland territory. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, I have to go hand that in. If we get another bookstore, I want to make sure we uh, go for it. This already is another class, but I'll need 600 because I want the mastery class. If I don't have to go mine for oil shale, that's going to be a big W for us. I actually think what I should do is I should go and just disable, uh, not disable, I should break down the whole of um, Razor's uh, place. And then also make a ton of ladders and stuff we can use and then just go from there. Come on, 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 quickly, 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 quickly. Great job. Double rewards. How may I serve you? Is it Vulture, some smoothies. Uh, this one will just charge. If I don't have to worry about vomiting, it's, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, but yeah, uh, basically, I need to go and break down Razor's place. Reason for that being is I want to be I'm able to make a whole platform on top of his head. And then what I want to do is I also want to add another defense, like I have on the one side, on his side as well. Okay, we have to go to this side. I can actually now take the books marker off. Because we just did the bookstore. But yeah, basically, if I can make the same defense that I have on the one side and the other side, uh, so that when I'm on the one side of the base, they actually go, go for that side as well, that would be amazing. At the moment, the moment I step on one side, like I'm too far back on Razor's side, they try and jump the walls. And that is super, super dangerous for us. If we can make a, plat uh, a flat platform so we can reach down towards Razor, we don't have to be on the same level. 
I think that's gonna help us. We mustn't be on Razor's turf at all, just on our blocks. The moment we are too low, the zombies feel like they can't get to us, or it's easier to jump the walls. And then we have a massive problem. Oh, this is the bookstore that I've been looking for. We were here early game, but we were never able to clear the place because we got chased off by like ferals and stuff. Now it's almost 10, so now it's going to be almost impossible to clear. There's demons, there's a normal dudes. Okay, yeah. all I have to do is make sure to go one at a time. Come on. Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. There might be a wandering horde coming in. It's night time. I should be careful of ferals and stuff as well. If I can stand somewhere and just pick them off with a sniper rifle, but the- Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there you go. Wandering horde. I actually want to lure them away from over here. Come on, this way, this way. I need you to mark this bookstore though. This is a Shocker Messiah building. And then this over here, this bookstore I need to save. Master, we are not alone. I always wondered where the hell this bookstore was because I know that in the beginning of the game I tried clearing a bookstore. I was never able to and I was chased off. And then I just never found it again. And then there's this one bookstore closer to Jen. And now that the ward spawned in over there, we can actually come and loot this one. The one with the vehicle through the wall. So it's more south. Okay, good to know. Always park your bike in an escape position, just in case. Since she's Jen, she should sell healing items. Although I think the uh, Meds, drugs, scout sells foods. the healing. I've got it all. If we had enough cash, I'd just go and buy all of the stuff of here. Okay, uh, resources, we need cobble, which you don't seem to have. Anything else that I might really, really, really need right now? Healing. Uh, no, Thank okay. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. You have nothing here, so why would I want to come again over here? It's so dangerous to be out in the what open like this as well, for? so we have to be careful. Nope, no, I know you can use painkillers as well to heal, but it's not really that worth it. And since we don't have the crossbow, I should probably go back because now I'm going to shoot this place up. If I can go and use my melee more, then that'd be awesome. But unfortunately, at the moment, this thing is just not that powerful. I'm trying my best to smack them with melee, but they just power on through it. And then they do some insane damage to me because I can't take them down. And especially because the swing is so damn slow, it makes it a lot harder. So I want to go inside over here. Let's park the bike in such a way that I can get away. If I can get the books in here as well, I just need 600. Although if we can just at least unlock all the classes, then we can work towards the mastery. I could even use points. I know points are super valuable, super expensive, but I need them. I'm getting so much frame drop right now. You have to be careful. Since we didn't clear the whole place out, zombie spawns sometimes slide around. So even though we've cleared this section out, there might be zombies over here again. Just because we didn't clear the rest out. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. Where? 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 Above me? Underneath me? Outside? Nope. Inside. Oh crap! Oh no! 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 I'm dead! No! 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 That's down. bullsh- I got stuck in the corner. I literally couldn't move at all just now. I tried jumping, tried crouching. No! That is some grade A bullshit. Now I just lost all of those notes that I worked towards. All of them. Guys, sometimes, just sometimes. Okay, um, it's dark over here. That was so unfair just now. I literally got stuck in the corner, couldn't move at all. Can I get some light over here, please? It doesn't give any light. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, let me just quickly see if I can get some gear over here to see. Damn it. That was a massive loss. I didn't put anything inside my motorcycle. 
And uh, please don't tell me I picked my drone up. Otherwise, I lost my drone as well just now. That was so unfair just now. I couldn't move one millimeter, one centimeter. Huh. Okay, so let's start again from scratch. Over 120 skill notes gone. I, I completely forgot because it's been going so well. I completely forgot to put stuff away. Okay, crossbow. I need you. Stay there. Okay, so sniper rifle. I need to put another silence on the sniper rifle as well. We at least have another coil. I'm not going to... Uh, I should probably take it with me. In case we need to disable regen from a distance. I can't believe I just died. Okay, um... Let's see, do I have any other mods? Can I make more silencer mods? That was so insanely expensive just now. Oh, that's the worst death that I've ever had just because of the sheer amount of stuff that I had on me. Okay, so yeah, we don't have a silencer. I could have sworn I had... Oh, the other silencer was on my other shotgun. No, that is so rage-inducing. Compound crossbow is a little bit better than a normal iron crossbow. The moment I couldn't move, I knew I was screwed. If this, if I didn't try and keep this as family friendly as possible just now, ho oh, oh. ho. Okay, um, yeah, I need all the tools and stuff again. I can't believe the shit. Okay, now a little bit of a problem is we just lost all of our coil ammo. I can't use that. Okay, so at least we do have our quill shotgun still. I'm just going to make sure all of this is reloaded. Unfortunately, there's no silencers on this stuff now, so this is going to draw, uh, draw some attention. I still have to make the autoloader mod as well, so this thing can fire five shots. Instead of just one shot at a time. We'll put the steel arrows on. Mm, damn, I can't believe that just happened. I wonder if I shouldn't try and spec more into this over here. Since we're using this thing more, uh, this... Oh, now we don't... <laughs> there's no point. We just lost the um, thing. The My brain's so fried right now. The legendary sledge we just lost. Position, salvage operations. What should I go for next? The huntsman? Or st uh, stealth assassin? More sneak damage. This one can only be unlocked. Oh, uh, we're still busy with the hunter chain. Oh, no, we're not. But because I died just now, I can't put another point in. Okay, so at least, yeah, let's go back to the bookstore over there. I definitely want to go for that bookstore and just see if I can get... Oh, I'm going to have to run all the way there as well. I probably do have a vehicle over here, but I don't want to keep too many vehicles on me. I'll also keep this drone with, just in case I lost my drone. Yeah, guys, that is so painful right now. I can't believe I just uh, lost that. Just because I needed books. And I was getting greedy because I wasn't saving them at all. And look what just happened. Uh, I need some frames as well to be able to stack up and away from zombies. Always, always, always. If you're not using something, just put it away. That's why I had the drone in the first place. So if we die, we don't have to worry about losing stuff. Okay, I'm just going to do the see-through. And go get our stuff. I think I'm just going to call episode, yeah? A little bit defeated now. <laughs> um, Yeah, did we have that mini bike? No, no, we, we didn't have any vehicle because we, uh, we got the motorcycle at the end. Okay, so if I run into something right now, I have to just jump on walls and stuff. If you guys liked my misfortune, uh, if you liked this episode, please like, share with your, uh, please leave a like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.